really the kind of quietest period of American, California wine history is when the center of American quality wine moves to Modesto because that's when we start drinking less fortified wine and drinking table wine. That was really started by the Gallows. So then the technology starts leaking out. You know, some guys from the Gallows are working at Fremark Abbey, Brad Webb, Larry, Jerry Looper, other guys start getting out. And so they start getting up to Napa, like Dick Peterson goes to BV in 74. So you can see there's a little bit of interest in the Napa Valley to be reestablished as a defined wine headquarters, because there's really only six wineries in Napa that are operating big time in the 60s. You know, the big five, Martini, uh, from 33, yeah, Mondavi, Krug, you know, that kind of stuff. So the Napa Valley is really sleepy. So when we start to show how much native excitement here, Lee Passett's got the Chateau Montalena name back from Bob Trincaro for free. He said, I'm restarting Chateau Montalena, can I have the name back? And to his credit, Bob Trincaro said, yeah, it belongs up there, here it is. You know, take it. And that 